like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn SD WAN. I'll go back. And you don't need to remember all the commands. There is an option in this GUI also. If you'll, I will show you the real time. If you go to the real time and you want to see any information, you just click here, device option. And if I click on BFT session, round filter. So you will see the all BFT session. This site is having the other side. If I want to check any other OMP, you can also type here OMP. Yeah. Sorry. Receive drought summary, right? So all the detail you will see here. If I will remove this one, so you will see there's a lots of command available there. So you can see that hard inventory interface status right so whatever you are using you can check from here system information system status so all the details you will get here they are almost the same command normally you got from the cli <clears throat> okay so this was the part of network from here you can go to any other device and you can do this kind of troubleshooting in alarms yeah it's same alarm history i think from here email notification you can configure any email that where the alarm should go right severity alarm type right either you can use this webhook url so those are the option available and events events is same I told you that it's all over event for the vManage. The, here you can see, and even from here, this bell icon, you can see the notifications, what all is going on on your vManage part, like interface status change, right? Seal file uploaded, and if all something is cleared, it will move to automatically here. Here are some cleared. We have decided down, it was up. And this icon, will be like a blue when you are using any cloud express routes towards azure okay basically cloud on ram for sas and is so i have one document i can uh, i will show you that how you can deploy the uh, uh, directly uh, you can deploy directly edges from this we manage to the um, aws uh, you don't need to log into aws only you need to prepare something in your we manage and you will log in here on the vManage and you will be able to deploy that one. But there's some prerequisite. Here we can see the task. This task normally uh, I will show you when we apply the policy. If any something is going on like software update or policy application is going on, then it will show you the one task activated. And when it's done, it will move to the completed part. So like uh, we will we are deploying any uh policy or maybe we are upgrading uh, the devices so those, those kind of tasks you will be able to see here uh in this one. and this is simply this question mark event help about from about you can see the version which version you are using okay and in admin profile nothing is there okay audit log audit log that when you have login when you logged out so those kind of audit log you will get here okay thing is your log nothing is there yeah if you go to the settings sorry if you go to the <clears throat> this uh, there's a uh, two way either you can use in this uh, view either you can click here so okay so go to the configuration under the configuration you will see that device certificate network design so i will use that one okay device under the device section okay. so in the device you can see that which model you are using jesse number serial number your host name if you want that this box should be here so i think we can drag
I think that is the latest version. Either we can drag it. Okay. Okay, in this it does not work. So you can see the host name system IP. Right. Mode is CLI. Right now we have not attached in template. When you will assign a template, then you will see the template here. Device in sync. And these are some validity valid. File uploaded in this. Upload source. Okay. On three dots, you can check the running configuration if you want to see the running configuration of this device you can see right so this is not activated device i will click on this one branch one we click on running configuration so what configuration is configured on this device here you can see the same thing you don't need to go to the cli and console so here you can see the configuration okay close there's other options that local configuration and running configuration, delete manage, copy configuration, right? Template log. If you are attaching a template, maybe some failure when template has been attached. So this kind of uh, option is there. And this icon, we already told you that the icon is changed when you install the certificates. Okay. So and in the certificate part. These are the some same thing, but we have done something differently when we are doing right uh, this uh, controller sub right. So we are generating the CSR for this CSR thing. I think we need to generate control. Okay, view device CSR. No CSR is available. Yeah, this device is activated so you can see the what certificate is installed in this one, right? So the same thing you can download this host IP system IP from this button, right? For the CSV file. And the same thing this. <clears throat> you if you want to, uh, you don't want to see this tab, you can remove that one. And the same thing is applicable for this. So for the physical box, we really do not need to take care of the certificates, right? It's already preloaded. Uh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to okay. do this kind of practice that you are fetching the certificate. You're running SCB command. No, it will. Uh, you and just then, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When we you are using need. VH, then only, I mean, the. Uh, this virtual version. Virtual, virtual, yeah, virtual yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. There's another option they introduce uh, the network design. So this is basically if you don't want to um, create the templates. So here you can define the topology of that site. Right. <clears throat> right. So this uh, I think will require some licensing. So otherwise it's a little like a, uh, it's like same that you work on Visio. You will drag the VH here. OK, you will connect one Internet cable here. So that kind of a design you can do and you can save and that's how you will get a template of that site general template so there's a new thing they have um, a design so we don't have any license because it's a lab environment this is a, some special requirement uh, a special license will be required from the cisco that if you don't want to create a template directly you can uh, create the design okay two vh site or one vh site one internet one mpls so that's how you will save it and some set parameters like it's globally or uh, it's a device specific and then save. So this is the option for that. I will show you the template part when we will come to the template. So basically there is a two type of template device template and feature and template. Uh, so let me complete this vManage overview. Then I will show you how you can create the template, right? And what is the benefit already? We have discussed what is the benefit of template. Right, so policies on this tab, you can configure the policies. Policies is also a different topic. The whole topic I will cover uh, what kind of policy and what is the meaning of that? What are the preparation you need to do to complete the policies? OK, so this from here you can configure template policy security. We are not using here. 
this is the cloud on ramo says or i yes so if you have here so right now <clears throat> uh means uh, we will require the aws login and password to if you want to deploy these edges on aws environment so if somebody work on aws then there is a vpc that uh, you need to define and uh, you need to define the john there or where, where you want to deploy like if you have ever worked on the aws there are regions the us east region us west region apac region so those kind of information only you will require and then from here on the vmanage only you will be able to deploy these edges directly from here you don't need to log in to your aws account and you don't need to spin up the machine there from here you can deploy directly from we manage so i will show you one i have one one document and i will take one separate session for that one uh, what are option if somebody is if, if somebody worked on the aws cloud ever before so he will be able to understand very clearly from you guys if somebody worked on aws okay okay i will take as a no okay then in tools tool in from sss terminal you can do the SSH of any device from here. Like if I want to do the branch one, I will click on here. Okay, I will put the username and press the enter. Okay, let me click on DCH. The same kind of configuration you can do from here. So running config, right? Fifty. Anything else? Okay. So this kind of uh, you don't you don't need to take any partition or management. If you are using any Takas for management, that's a different thing. Uh, that your traffic is coming from Takas and it is hitting to the ETH zero five one two. So that's a different thing. Um, but from here you can also do the SSH rediscover network no idea what is this i think it's a new rediscover network or what data collection stat reachability system ip okay i will check that one i think that's a new feature operational commands okay these are some for the tag purpose so normally when you face an issue on their devices so they ask for the admin tech logs so this is for the tech purpose in the maintenance for software upgrade we already covered that this software repository should be there this is the option that you can uh, upload their your images here there's a repository and from software upgrade this part we already covered how you can upgrade the software and what thing you need to consider like we already covered how you can activate how you can set default version you can delete available software right so th these things we already covered if somebody missed you can go through the recordings device reboot you can reboot your devices from here directly from here okay this is just uh, it will push the command <coughs> security you're not covering security having this kind of uh, application intrusion url filtering right so this also this feature also they inbuilt in the vmanage previously it was not there in administration setting part most of the important things we already covered let me go through if somebody miss so organization name we bond these are banner like if you want to publish any banner that this we manage will be down from this this time to this time or is there a maintenance activity this kind of banner you can publish here v analytics i think requires some special uh, licenses okay cloud on ramu says uh, this we uh, i will show you on the document right cloud on ramu says is enable or disable so basically these are required some special licensing maintenance window not configured there are some google map api through that it normally fetch the geographical detail of the edges whatever latitude longitude we use so this is the api it is basically it is using this api if you want 
only you will be required most of the time. See smart account credentials. You can put here on the last one, right? Your banner, V bond, and <coughs> this controller certificate authorization and vanage cloud certificate authorization. Other than that, I don't think that you will be required those uh, this thing. These are the some special license if you will activate here. So this I think special license required via analytics. OK, so manage user here. You can configure the users. You can add more users, right? Basic net admin operator. What are the role they are having here? You can see under the user group. That basic is having only interface level setting. Net admin having full access on read on write, right? Operator level, it, it will not have any write access, only read access. Or if you want to modify your that kind of I think license also require. I think we normally say our back access. So from we manage if you are adding your own group, I think the special uh, uh, license is required. Maybe in new version they introduce that no license is required. But if, if you want to create your own user group, you can put and whatever access you want to give to that group, you can do here. And when you are creating your user, that time you can assign. You can create a user name, username, password, confirm password, and that time you can assign that group to that user, and that user will be only able to access those things, right? Cluster management. If you are using any this we manage under the cluster right now, we are using one manage one we manage. So if you are using any uh, another we manage, then you can add the we manage here to IP username password that will be add here. We will go through our this part is already done. OK, so. Now we will go through the templates today. And we already covered last week that why would require the template like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn SD-WAN. Thank you so much.